Hello all. In this tutorial, I will show you how to find the silver rate of an operational amplifier. So silver rate is defined uh, as the maximum rate of change of amplifier's output voltage and is measured with respect to units per microseconds. So it's mostly measured uh, by applying a large signal uh, at the input. So here, for example, I'm using uh, instead of an AC source or a DC source, I'm using a pulse signal, which is a large signal. And here, if you go inside the properties, I'm taking the zero as voltage at zero, zero level and 1.2 as one level and giving some period. You can also keep them default, the delay time, rise time, fall time, or pulse bit. So after defining this, the pulse signal here, the rest setup is same, what I was showing you uh, for the noise analysis or for the stability analysis. But again, you can use some RC feedback also here just for your curiosity or uh, depending on your design. So after defining the pulse signal, I will launch the ADL. Now because uh, the silver rate is uh, measured with respect to time, so what we'll do here is we'll do the transient simulation. We'll define the transient analysis and uh, I'll define some stop time here. Keep accuracy as conservative too, press OK. And I will also plot the input and output. I will tell you the reason, at least the output. Let's let me plot the output here. So I will simulate it once. So this is my output signal here. But let's keep this is not required for now. Keep it as it is. So now I will go to tools. I open the calculator. And here I click off VT and then select the output net for which I want to measure the sleeve rate. After selecting this here, so there is a function from calculator, it's called sleeve rate here. And now if you see here, I have to fill up the different options here. So first it's asking initial value type. So because I want to see with respect to y axis, there how fast it is going from zero to one, let's say. So that means I need to keep it here y and then the initial value now this is important here. I cannot take by default zero because my signal is starting from around 70 millivolt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it here initial value uh, 0 0.07 and then the Y final value what it is here I will check it's around 1.1119. So I keep it let's say 1.19 and then the percent low and high. So the number of occurrences, so I want here retrieve uh, only one occurrence of a silver rate for the uh, whole waveform. So I'll keep it single. And uh, then it's option plot print versus. So you can specify here whether you want to retrieve the silver rate, uh, rise time, data against uh, time or some other axis parameter, whichever is convenient for you. But the moment you define here uh, the number of occurrences single, this becomes this uh, becomes obsolete. So uh, that's the setup here. I just press OK, and then I go here. I will plot it like this. You see the number. So you can see here the slit rate is around 3.2 volt per microsecond. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send it to the ADL and close this. Close this also. Let's put the ADL here. So I write here slew rate, okay, and I don't need this output signal now, so I will simulate it simply. So you can see here, it's plotting that I have around 3.28 volt per microsecond slew rate for this op-amp. So this is how you define the slew rate uh, of an op-amp in cadence. But now if you are interested to increase the slew rate of an operation amplifier, you can do it by simply maybe increasing the current at the input stage of your oper operation amplifier. But uh, there's a trade-off between the auxiliary rate as well as uh, the undershoot and overshoot at the output signal. So you have to make sure that uh, you don't make it so fast that uh, the ringing happens at uh, the output of your open amp, therefore maybe resulting in the stability issues or taking more circuit time. Thank you.